Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about downloading all of your YouTube videos using the Google API, and I'll be writing some little scripts in PHP. Before we get started, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to go through this exactly, but you'll need to go to this console.developers.google.com, and you'll need to set up an API key. You click credentials on the left, you hit create credentials, and then you create the API key, and then you'll have a little code show up. I'm not gonna show all this because it's pretty straightforward and then I have to like block out the screen. So I just uh, blocked it off with these other windows. So I'll, I'll close this here now. I'll close these other browser screens. And I have an example of what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna run this API and we're going to get a single web page, and it will have every video in your channel. So I have, uh, I think like 500 videos here. And it lists them all out. And then I have an edit and a view link I have so I can hit view and it will take me to the to view the video or I can hit edit and it will take me to the edit screen so I can edit the video and what why would you want to do this well um, I also make all these links in the description um, actual links I can click on and they open up in a new screen so I want to go through and like check affiliate links that I have on um, here or any links I have or my descriptions uh, make sure everything's up to date and using the YouTube interface is very slow so I can go through here and I can say oh, I had a video on um, a GoPro so I can just search this page here for GoPro and say oh no that's not the video this is the one okay so I can go to this video I can click edit and it's super fast and uh, so you run the script and it creates this page here and then you have to run the script again to update it but the fact that you don't update it every time is, is why it's fast because you just create this you can go through look through things. Once you make a bunch of changes, you can maybe update it. So what I have here is two little scripts I wrote, and I'll put a link in the description of my website, and I'll put these scripts in there. And the first one is the video list download. And I call this video list download fake because I don't have my actual API key here. But in this script, you want to download these two scripts um, or create these files, this uh, video list to HTML. And I'm doing this on a Mac. This should work on a Mac or Linux and probably Windows, uh, I'm not familiar with using command line PHP on Windows, but um, if you know how to do that, you could probably modify this to make it work. So, so I have these two files, and they're, they're in this uh, YouTube videos directory on my desktop, and you'll see I have video download and video list to HTML. So in the video list download, what this is doing is this is going to download uh, 50 at a time pages of videos, and then the next script will turn that into the web page. And this will download it as JSON files. So we need the API key, which I told you about, and then we need to get the playlist ID. So to get this YouTube playlist ID, you need to go to your channel. So I'll go to my web browser here, and I'll click on videos, and then you'll see the little play all icon. I'll just copy this link, and then let's see, I'll just paste it in here so we can see it. You want to take out this list right here. So that's your ID, you copy that, and that's your playlist ID. So that's a playlist ID of all of your uploads. And that's everything that's public. This doesn't work with private files, by the way. Uh, this only works with public. So this is your public upload playlist. So you paste that in there, you get your API key, and then you can run this script. So in order to run it, I'll go to my terminal, and I'll type CD desktop, make this bigger, and then CD YouTube videos. So I have the folder here, and I have these scripts, and I should be able to run that. Well, when you make these um, files, you'll need, you may need to type ch mod space plus x, and then video. Uh, I'll just do all these. Hit that, and we may need to give all these execute um, capabilities. So I'll clear that, and then we can run this video uh, list download. And this fake one obviously doesn't have the API key. The real one does. So we hit enter here. Okay, I actually had to cut the video. I had to uh, do some tweaking here. I needed to create this uh, directory. So we ran this script, it's finished now, and it created this video list. And if we open that, we have all these JSON files. And each one, let's see if I can open one in here. Here we go. So this is going to have like the ID of the video and it'll have the description and different things like that for each video. And it's not very useful right now. I mean, it, actually it could be for what you need um, if you want to do some more processing on this. So it will do 50 at a time, and then each file, so I'll pull this up again, 
at the very top, it'll say the next page token, and it has this ID here. And if we open up the next page, it will um, say next page token and previous token. So this is passed each time through this uh, download script. So it passes the page token. So it downloads a page, gets the, the page token for the next page, and it just loops through until it downloads all of the videos. So, and you can obviously read through this to learn more how it works. But um, once we create all these, I have this video list to HTML, and this just creates a table with all the data. So right now I'm showing, I guess I don't have this up right now. I'll run this script real quick and then we can look at it. Video list to HTML. And that runs very quickly. So that created this videos.html and it's like 696 kilobytes. But since we're on a local machine, it'll open very quickly. So I have three columns here, I don't have headers. So we have like the title of the video and the description over here, we have the publish date, and then we have the edit and the view link here. And then we have code to turn these into links. So the JSON files here have other data in there, so you could make other columns and modify this or whatever, that wouldn't be a problem. So here we just have the header for the HTML, and then we loop through the files and um, pull out all the data that we need and output it to the screen. I'm focused on security and such for this script. So, you know, if you're going to build like a public site with this somehow, just be careful with it and make sure you uh, look at any, you know, security issues with it. But I threw this together pretty quickly and it was pretty crude too. But so this will create your links and it does open in a new window. So now I can use this. I, like I said, I can search down through and, you know, find different things that I want to edit or check or whatever um, on here. I found this very helpful when I'm making a video and I want to link to a previous video. So I made this video, a uh, Kamara baby rhino, and I have another video with this uh, rhino and I, and I linked to the previous one, or I linked to this uh, Tumani video. So I can do find Tumani and go through here and I see the original video I posted. And then I can go over here to this view and I can just right click and say copy link. And then I can go back to the original video up here and then I can click edit and I can easily paste in the link um, as opposed to searching for it on YouTube, things like that. So if I'm doing any batch, I shouldn't say batch, batch processing, but like manual batch processing where I'm going through a bunch of videos trying to make edits, this is an easy way to do it. And you can modify this video list to HTML um, any way you want. You do have to run this each time. Um, you know, certainly you could host this on a web server and have it, you know, run automatically somehow. I don't know that you'd want to download the videos each time. I think you'll run, um, they limit you to how many times you can do that. I haven't looked into it a lot because I haven't reached the limits, but, um, so that's the basics of creating this, you know, script to download this, you know, list of YouTube videos. And like I said, this is kind of a personal thing I did for myself. I don't know if this is going to be useful to other people, but, you know, certainly if you have any questions about this, uh, leave them down below and hopefully I can help you out or answer any questions. And if you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.